Um, I guess my final thoughts is this was this was informative and it's kind of dope to hear how somebody who has the means would vet to make sure that they wouldn't be in this situation. And it's also dope to hear what the what happens when men go through this. So this was really informative to me and I hope we do this again. Those are my final thoughts. So, um, listen, I it's all about communication. Again, it, there's nothing, you have to tell her, ask her the hard questions, the hard questions and be prepared for the answers. Okay, you're talking the rest of your life here. And if you're gonna be with this woman for the rest of your life, my God, ask the tough question before you actually jump into a relationship. You, if you're at the age where you want to get married, that means you vetted yourself, you know what you're about, you formed your habits, you know what you're willing to tolerate, not tolerate, you know what you're willing to bring her into. I mean, you want to lead, then lead, right? But build yourself up to the position where you put yourself in the best position possible in life. I'm not saying there's not going to be any struggles, but if you're going to struggle, you're struggling together, moving forward, but she's on the same page as you, right? And I, no man should ask any woman to give up her career. You compromise and for the sake of the family when you have one. You build as a family. But at the end of the day, you're leading and making sure everything is taken care of. And that's how people should do, live their lives. Have the tough conversations. It's not, if you're arguing in the beginning, why are you staying with her? Obviously, that's not the one. Be willing to walk away right? Be willing to walk away. Believe me, she's not the biggest fish in the sea. So there's going to be one for you. She's just not for you. So have the top, top uh, ask the top questions, the tough questions, have the conversation, have the really vet this woman because you're talking about the rest of your life. She's coming into your life uh, and there should be no, uh, 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 no, ask. That's it. Great conversation. Okay. If you catch yourself in a situation where you're in a relationship and you split and, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about financial support and custody, I, everyone mentioned communication is key. The best thing I would say for you is it's not about you, right? It's not about the other party as well. It's about the kid. So no matter how tough it is, no matter how tough financially it can get, you got to find a way to be the leader in the situation. Even if somebody's responding to you, coming to you from an emotional standpoint, or they're trying to weaponize child support against you, just be the leader in the situation. And one day they will follow your lead or if not, your child will see exactly what you've done. So just be the leader. You can only have the relationship you can afford and they don't have anything to do with money. You don't believe me? Listen to all these cases about child support. I don't have a whole lot to add to this. That, that Antoine didn't nail both subjectively and objectively. Uh, guard your meat, you know what I'm saying? Guard your meat so you can meet the right person that you're supposed to meet and you won't get your meat damaged. I'm out. But we, final thought, man, what I wanna say, first of all, I gotta I gotta say thank you to Uncle Junior as well as the gentleman on this platform, man. This has been an awesome conversation. I love to sit back and chat with me and get different perspectives on topics that really affect us. And I want to say, uh, at the end of the day, man, the damage is done. You know, our generation, we did what we did. Now it's time to teach the younger generation that you don't have to go down the same path we went down as far as with child support, single apparent households and things like that. So I'm going to say, let's spread the word on taking pride and building ourselves back, building the community back through mating properly mating properly so don't just sacrifice yourself and give yourself to any old being that's all i gotta say hey i kind of want to piggyback off for where mr tmi left off uh, mating properly i think that's important i think it's important that we take the time going back to what gamal said to communicate with the individual that you are in you know in, in, that you're interviewing i'm gonna use that term loosely um, you're, you're really just talking to the person just to understand whether you guys are, are mesh, whether you, you guys are equally yoked. Again, what are your viewpoints? What are your belief systems? What do you believe, uh, you know, raising kids look like? What does marriage look like? All of that is important. When it comes down to parental parenting, I know we didn't 
um, I mean, paternal parenting, I know we didn't really get much into that, but men are just as equally qualified to take care of their children as mothers are. There's a stigma that exists to where most people believe that men cannot or do not have the ability to take care of their children. I do not believe that. I believe that men are equally qualified. You have a brother on this panel that talked about that tonight. He has custody of his kids. So I think that's important to understand. I think when it comes down to it, there's also another stigma that says I carried the child for nine months. Therefore, there is an idea of ownership when it comes to that child. It takes two people to make a child. I want to make sure I stress that piece. Two people make a child. That's it. Not just one. One person doesn't own the child. The child is not owned. It's not your child. You are just responsible for the upkeep and the well-being and the training of that child until they become an adult. When we actually adopt that mindset, the mindset that we'll get out of the idea of ownership and leveraging, leveraging that child against the other parent. The court system is not for you. I don't care who you are, mother or father, non-custodial or custodial. The court system means you or your child no good, even though they will use terms that say in the best interest of the child. The best interest of the child is both parents. So if the court system meant you any good, they will actually send both of you to counseling so that you can come up with the best and most effective means of co-parenting. And that's it. <music>